Okay, in this question, we're asked to express a 4 sine x plus 3 cos x in the form r sine x plus alpha, where r is bigger than 0 and alpha is between 0 and pi by 2. Standard question, standard way of answering it. Write this down here. So we're trying to express 4 sine x plus 3 cosine x in this form. So we want it uh, in the form it's identical to r sine of x plus alpha. Now we can expand that using the sine a plus b formulae given in the formula book, but after you've done a few you just know them in your head. So this would be r sine x cosine alpha plus r cosine x sine of alpha. Okay, so 4 sine x plus 3 cosine x. Now it always turns out, and I've shown this in other videos, so if you want to look on my YouTube channel or Hegarty Maths you can see this, but r always is the square root, it's like Pythagoras, of that squared plus that squared, so 4 squared plus 3 squared, so in this case r turns out to be 5. Always is like that. Now how do you get the alpha? Well, the coefficient of sine x is 4. What's the coefficient of sine x on this side? Well, it's r cos uh, alpha. The coefficient of cosine x here is 3, and on this side it's r sine alpha. So we can write two equations. We can write that r sine alpha is going to be equal to 3, and we can write that r cosine alpha is going to be equal to 4. Call that equation 1, equation 2. Dividing them, doing equation 1 divided by equation 2, we get ourselves r sine alpha divided by r cosine alpha, which is just tan alpha. The r factor on top and bottom cancels. is going to be 3 quarters. So therefore, alpha is the inverse tan of 3 quarters. Calculate around. Inverse tan of 3 quarters is 0.6435. Now, just check. It does want it in radians, so we're going to state that alpha is, let's do it to three decimal places, or three significant figures, 0 0.644. So 0 0.644 radians, like that. Okay, so make sure we do go back and express the thing. So it was 4 sine x plus 3 cosine x, and now we've determined it can be written in the form r, r was 5, sine of x plus alpha, where alpha is 0.644. And we've done for four easy marks. It says state the minimum value of this and the smallest positive value of x for which this minimum occurs. Now the smallest for part b that this can be is clearly the smallest that this can be. And this is smallest where this thing here is negative 1, isn't it? Whereas, and the whole thing would be negative 5. So the minimum value, minimum, would be equal to negative 5. Okay, just checking it wasn't the minimum. Yes, it did. So the minimum this can be is the minimum this can be. This is a minimum where just this part is at a minimum. The minimum that sine of anything can be, sine, the sine function can be is negative 1. So the minimum the whole thing can be is negative 5. It asks the value of x at which this occurs. It asks the uh, smallest positive value of x at which this occurs. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, solve the equation this thing is equal to negative 1. So sine of x plus 0 0.644 is equal to negative 1. And we inverse sine both sides. So x plus 0 0.644 is going to be the inverse sine of negative 1. And the inverse sine of negative 1 of negative 1 is A negative pi by 2, so x plus 0 0.644 is going to be equal to negative pi by 2. Now let's draw the graph out here. What does the sine graph look like? We're dealing with sine. The sine graph looks like this. And negative pi by 2 is this one here. Okay, now, <clears throat> where is this going to be? Uh, where are the other solutions going to be? Well, clearly you can see across here the other solution is going to be here, and this is going to be the one we're looking for because we want the smallest positive value of x for which this occurs. So this is pi by 2 from 0 here. So this point here is 0. That's pi by 2. This is pi. And this here would be 3 pi by 2. So the one we're looking for is 3 pi by 2. So x plus 0 0.644 is going to be equal to 3 pi by 2 is the solution we're looking for 
for the smallest positive value of x. So therefore x is 3 pi by 2, subtract 0 0.644, calculate her out, 3 pi over 2, subtract 0 0.644, 4.068 so x is equal to 4.068 radians and we've answered that question here we have found we've stated the minimum value is negative 5 and we found that x is 4.068 is the value at which that is actually minimum okay and what you could do just to check you could get your calculator out and type in 4 sine of 0 0.46 what do we say uh, 406068 plus 3 cosine of 0 0.4 uh, sorry sorry it was 4.068 sorry go back here this here was 4.068 and 4 sine of 4.068 plus 3 cosine of 4.068 hopefully we get something very close to negative 1 Oh, negative 5 even? Yes, we get almost negative 5. So we've checked, we've, we've done that right. Now we're asked to solve this equation here. Now look at that. And the minute I look at that, I think to myself, this thing here looks very like what I'm de dealing with, apart from, in this case, we've got 2 theta instead of x. So we're going to use what we've done before. We're going to use the R cos method to solve this. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for part C, what we're trying to solve is this thing here. So let me just take a little photograph of that. So I'm trying to solve this thing is equal to 2. Instead of solving that, I'm going to use the R cos method. Now R in our case was 5, sine of, uh, what do we have? We had x plus 0 0.644. Now, we don't have x anymore. In our thing, we were dealing with 5 sine x plus 3 cosine x. Instead of x, we've got 2 theta. So in our r cos method or r sine method, we're going to have 2 theta plus 0 point, what was it, 644 is equal to 2. That's what we're going to solve. So we're replacing the x by 2 theta, simple as that. Now look, we want our theta between 0 and pi, and we want our answer to two decimal places. Divide both sides by 5. So sine of 2 theta plus 0 0.644 is going to equal 2 divided by 5, which is 0 0.4. Inverse sine both sides, so 2 theta plus 0 0.644 is the inverse sine of 0 0.4. Inverse sine 0 0.4, we get ourselves... 0 0.4115 so 2 theta I'm going to write the whole thing out so 0 0.4115 0 0.4115 168461 168461 okay now we're looking for all answers between 0 and pi let's just think about this the sine graph looks something like this um, however, actually, I'm going to just delete that. We want uh, to double everything because we've got 2 theta. So what we want to do is instead of going between 0 and pi, we're going to go between 0 and 2 pi. And also, because we're subtracting 0 0.644 off at the very end, uh, I'm going to go a little bit further here. So our answers are 0 0.4115. Now, that's somewhere here. Okay, this answer here. Now, there's going to be another one. Here, and there's going to be another one it looks like here and because um, this here is going to be 0 0.4115 from here when we subtract off the 0 0.644 that's also going to be within my region so I'm going to care about all these answers that one that one and that one however um, this one is actually going to come outside my region if you think about it because when I uh, when I subtract the 0 0.644 off this one, it's actually going to end up being negative, and we want our theta between 0 and pi. So actually, we're going to ignore this one. And it's this one we care about, and this one we care about. So what are the values we're going to solve? Well, we're going to solve 2 theta plus 0 0.644 is equal to this here, which is pi take away 
0 0.4415. So pi, because this point here is at pi, take away 0 0.4115168461. That's one we're solving. Also, we're solving 2 theta plus 0 0.644 is going to equal, this here is 2 pi, so 2 pi plus this thing, 0 0.4115168, etc. So those are the answers we're solving. So what's theta in each case? Well, let's work it out. Let's keep that an answer, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say pi, take away the answer, and then we're going to take away this, subtract 0 0.644, and then we're going to half it. So 1.043. What, what did we want to give our answer to? Two decimal places, 1.04. So 1.04 radians. And what's theta going to be in this case? Well, it's going to be uh, 2 pi plus this thing here, the 0 0.4. So 0 0.4115168461 equals. And then we're going to subtract the 0 0.644 and then we're going to divide by 2, divide by 2. So we get 3.03. .03. So um, theta is equal to 3.03 .03 radians to two decimal places. So we're done. We've uh, found our answers between 0 and pi and they're given to two decimal places.